are new developments involving an Oceanside doctor who sexually abused five female patients. This afternoon, Edgar Manzanero was sentenced. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is joining us. And Rachel, one of the victims told the court her life will never be the same. Lindsay, the woman had a high profile job with the Navy. Now she says she struggles just to leave the house. The former doctor managed to avoid prison time, but his medical license is gone for good. I am the last known veteran to be sexually assaulted by the Veterans Affairs doctor, Edgar Manzanera. She asked to be referred to only as Jane Doe number four. She was calm but firm about how Edgar Manzanera devastated her life. After the sexual assault, I became ill from anxiety and found it impossible to keep up with the demanding pace of my job. The former doctor, seen in a dark blue suit, partially shielded by his attorney, showed no reaction as she spoke about the day he violated her. June 15th, 2016, during an exam from my neck, Edgar Manzanera, a doctor for the Veterans Affairs, broke his oath as a physician to do no harm. She was the first of five women to come forward. Manzanera was a doctor at QTC Medical Services, a clinic that contracts with the VA in Oceanside. As a sailor, I have been conditioned to obey authority. Edgar Manzanera knew that and used my training and discipline to sexually assault me he broke a solemn oath and used it to harm a military veteran who went to him for help. Under a plea deal, Manzanera admitted to a felony charge of sexual exploitation by a physician. He was sentenced to three years prison, but under the agreement, he'll serve three years probation, register as a sex offender for life, and give up his medical license. After the sentencing, Doe had a final message for anyone who is a victim. Come forward and stick with it. The process can wear you out, but if you stick with it, eventually you get justice. And Manzanera left court holding hands with his wife. If he had been convicted at a trial, he could have faced 15 years in prison. Reporting live in Vista, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.